अप्रस्त फॉर धृतराष्ट्र फॉर फिफ्टीन इयर्स धृतराष्ट्र एंड गांधारी लिव इन हस्तिनापुर अंडर द केयर ऑफ युधिष्ठिरा देन ही कॉल्ड युधिष्ठिरा वन डे एंड आज डिस परमिशन टू विद्रॉ इन टू द फॉरेस्ट विद गांधारी दे हैड बीन अनबेरेबली अनहैपी सिंस ऑल देर सन्स वुड डेड Only you youth so lived now they had practiced severe penance living in the palace dhritarashtra was aware that it was his son's evil actions which had brought about their destruction yudhishthira felt sad he said he or his son you youth so could rule the kingdom while he himself went into the forest but dhritarashtra could find no more peace in the palace He asked Vidura and Kripacharya to take care of the king. Then he turned to Gandhari as he became unconscious. Vyasa told Yudhishthira to let the old king go. It is the dharma of kings to either die in the battle or to withdraw into the forest at the end of their life. The elders Dhritarashtra and Gandhari went into the palace and broke their fast eating a meal with kunti then they blessed yudhishthira and the pandavas and began the journey into the forest dhritarashtra had gandhari's shoulder she had tied a scarf over her eyes since her marriage so kunti led her sanjay went with them as they left kunti turned to place the care of the kingdom draupadi and all the pandavas on yudhishthira he had not realized Till then, that Kunti intended to go with Dhritarashtra and Gandhari into the forest. He pleaded with her to stay, but she told him she was now going to join her husband. The Pandavas watched silently with Vidura and Kripacharya as the three elders left Hastinapur for the forest. They lived there for three years till a fire engulfed the forest. They asked Sanjay to leave. and gave themselves up to the flames sanjay went into the himalayas the yadavas krishna belonged to one of the yadava tribes the vrishnas there were several yadava tribes after the war at kurukshetra the tribes were relaxed they became lazy and used to indulge in all kinds of luxury there was no more discipline or good behavior among them one day some sages came to dwarka the yadavas played a very rude and silly prank on them one of them dressed up as a woman and the others asked the sages o oh, reverend sirs please tell us if this lady will have a boy or a girl the sages had seen through the trick and were very angry so they cursed the man saying This person will give birth to a mace and that mace will destroy your entire tribe the men found to their horror that actually a mace was born from the young man who had posed as a woman the rushes the frightened the other ones wonder if the second part of the curse of the sages would also come true would the mace be the cause of their destruction they did not know what to do after discussion they decided that the best thing was to smash the mace grind it into powder and scatter it so they reduced the mace to dust and scattered it in the sea nothing happened so they felt very pleased that they had overcome the danger many seasons passed and summers and winters and the rains came and went the rain also fell along the beaches where the yadavas had scattered the dust of the mace there along the beach grew a thicket of rushes that were strong and sharp the yadavas had forgotten the curse of the sages when they saw the rushes they did not connect them to the dust that they had scattered thanks for watching do like share subscribe to sahil book house